Welcome to Holly EFI Training Part 27. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at working with our drive-by-wire throttle control. Our drive-by-wire control is going to give us a huge range of flexibility for both our idle and the driving characteristics of our vehicle. We're going to find that we have an accelerator pedal that we put our foot on that we actually give the input to the Holly EFI box, and that's going to be knowing what we want to actually open our throttle plate by. Now there's going to be a disconnect between our actual pedal assembly that we put our foot on and the throttle plate opening. We can control that relationship virtually through the Holly EFI programming, and that's what we're going to take a look at in this video. So I'm going to be demonstrating how the idle control works with drive-by-wire, the driving characteristics between the pedal and the plate, and then moving into some advanced programming that we can go and have a different drive-by-wire characteristic curve. So we can actually go into dampen out the drive-by-wire, make it more aggressive based on a secondary table. There's a lot to cover, so let's jump into this video so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at working with drive-by-wire throttle control in our Holly EFI software. The drive-by-wire is going to be exclusive to using a Dominator box, so if you're running a Holly HP box, this isn't going to be applying to you. However, if you have a Dominator, you can control one or two electric throttle bodies, and depending on your application, that may or may not be needed, but typically we're going to be controlling one. And drive-by-wire is going to be a choice that I always try to choose when I'm beginning with a project with my Holly. So it's going to be opening up a lot more tuning flexibility as I'm going to be demonstrating here in this video. Things like our idle control motor is no longer present. With drive-by-wire, you're going to be controlling everything through the throttle plate opening, um, similar to the idea of we're going in and having a manual control on a basic cable-driven throttle body. But we can do this virtually and we also can control the airflow characteristics coming into our engine. So that's going to be varying the throttle plate opening. If you have a really large throttle body and it's going to have a linear response on the bottom end or the very low throttle movements, we're going to find it might be really jumpy or touchy to drive that can make it very undesirable. With electric drive-by-wire control, we can actually specify how much we want the plate to open as we're giving throttle input to the pedal assembly in the vehicle that can start to tame out any of the drivability problems that you would have otherwise with a large throttle body that's going to be cable driven and having more of a linear relationship in nature. So I'm going to go through um, setting up our pedal to plate table that's going to be giving us our driving characteristics out of our throttle body. We're also going to be taking a look at some other tips and tricks for both idle control and then just general operation with drive-by-wire. So let's jump in here and start to take a look at working with drive-by-wire control. First thing we're going to do here is jump into toolbox. Then we're going to go here to add individual config. Now in here we're going to move into our third option, drive-by-wire double click and we can find we have a base config that's going to be blank that's what we're going to start with in this video we also have one that's related to Chrysler or GM LSX engines or LS, LS type engines so in this case I'm going to go here to base configuration just do a blank we'll start from scratch here and click open now notice we're going to have a new icon up top here it's a drive-by-wire ICF icon clicking on the icon it's going to open it up here in the top of our software now we're going to find the very first thing we need to take a look at is our drive-by-wire parameters. We need to select the throttle body that we're actually trying to control with our dominator. This is important because we're going to be response characteristics that the Holly needs to know in order to control that throttle body right. So what kind of frequency does the throttle body operate in its control and also what kind of proportional, integral, and derivative terms that it needs to work with in order to command that throttle body open or closed and actually uh, activate and work properly. So you'll find the OEMs do all this in the background and, and OEM programming and this is going to be essentially what the Holly is going to be simplifying. If you work with other standalone systems you usually have the flexibility to go in here and start to get custom in programming a lot of this. With the Holly it's going to just simplify the process. So if we use our drop down here we have a whole bunch of different GM part numbers here. These are going to be throttle body part numbers that you can reference. We also have Ford part numbers for Ford applications and then some Hemi applications here for Chrysler. Now we also have here Nissan. Now the reason why there's Nissan throttle body on here is because the Hitachi throttle body is very very common. It's almost kind of a universal throttle body if you're looking for a smaller throttle body control. So maybe you're not going to be running your Holly on a V8 engine. It might be on a four-cylinder or a six-cylinder engine. The Nissan 350Z throttle body here is going to work out very well for those smaller displacement engines. But if you are running a larger engine, V8 engine, V10 engine, you'll be selecting more than likely one of our options here. So you're going to have to go in and select this. Now we do have a option down at the bottom, restricted use. Now we're not going to use this but when we click on this, we can see that the frequency here and the P, I, and D terms for the throttle body that we're trying to control can be programmed. Um, I haven't personally worked with these settings here, so they could work, 
they may not. I stick with what's on the list here for the throttle. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.